Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob with Virtual Flat and the reason that I'm posting this video is in response to a comment that I got on one of my other videos, namely the one where I find the volume of a shot glass. The comment in question is this one here from Ignatius Jax Riley and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. He says, is there a specific reason to use this method rather than the intersect tool to create a volume between the plane and the inside of the shot glass? With the intersect tool, you wouldn't need to select every inside surface of the shot glass since you can select the body itself. Am I missing something? So the short answer to that question is no, you're not missing anything, actually. So the method that I outlined in my other video is a more manual get your hands in there and create all the surfaces required to create that solid. It's a lot of steps, but gives you a little bit more flexibility. The tool that Ignatius here is talking about, about using the intersect tool, is actually a lot easier and faster, but it's kind of what you see is what you get. You'll throw it to the intersect tool and maybe it'll work and maybe it doesn't. And if it doesn't, you would use the manual surface method. Otherwise, use the intersect tool. And that's what I'll show you to do right now. So hopping into SOLIDWORKS, so you can see that we have our good old friend, the trash can shot glass again. And so uh, let's get the handle and uh, the lid out of the way. And I'm pressing the tab key on my keyboard to hide these away. All right, so now we have the bottom part. We can create our plane. And um, I'm gonna get my top plane. And to copy a plane out of thin air, hold down the control key, click on it, and drag. And out of nowhere, we will get our plane. So you wanna set this plane, um, the height that you're planning to fill this to. So I'm just gonna say, whoop, not three, but I'm gonna say perhaps 30 from that initial plane. So almost full, but not quite to the brim, because not really anyone, anyone does that. So I'll go ahead and accept it, and there's my plane. So now for the intersect tool. So the intersect tool is found on the features tab, you know, kind of down the middle here. Um, I'll launch the intersect tool and intersect is one of the most powerful commands that is in SOLIDWORKS. You can feed it just about anything, solid bodies, surfaces, and planes to name a few. I think you can put sketches in there. I'd have to check on that, but you can see the plane got thrown in there and I'm going to select the uh, shot glass itself. And here's the key. It's going to ask if we want to create intersecting regions, create internal regions, or create both. So the option I want here, since I want the uh, internal fluid volume between the plane and the shot glass, I'm going to use create internal regions. So you might be thinking, so what about create both? Wouldn't that work as well? So the answer is kind of, and we'll revisit that in here in a second, but I'm just going to leave it at create internal regions. And this is one of those tools that you have to press the button to actually execute the command. So I'll hit intersect. All right. And after a little bit of churning, it gives us these results. So it has found two regions where one of them should be the shot glass itself. And the other is the volume of fluid in there. So remember, uh, you see here that there's a little no symbol. That means if you check this on, it will exclude them and basically deleting the body. Um, in this case, we just want to keep both. Make sure merge result is unchecked because I want the fluid to be separate from the glass itself. Hit OK. And just like that, if I hide this body away, you will see that there's a volume of fluid where, here, let me hide this plane real quick. I can go to evaluate mass properties, make sure you kick out this thing here. So right click clear selections and get this body. And there's the, uh, uh, there's a volume right there. And you can do the other fun stuff that I described in the other video links in the description below. But so before I end this video, um, I'm going to go back and show you what create both does in the intersect tool. So let's say that you wanted to be a little bit of a rebel and instead of taking my advice, you decide to create both anyway. It should create those internal regions, right? Well, let's try it out here and we'll see what happens. Okay, back in the tool. 
I'll change it from create internal regions to create both, and I'll hit intersect. So intersecting regions specifically means that um, the bodies can uh, cut into each other, they can uh, create common areas, they can subtract from each other, they can combine with each other. It's basically the combine command with add, subtract, and, and common all rolled into one. It's pretty, pretty powerful. But you can see that with the same inputs, the, the plane and the fillet one body, instead of getting two regions, I get three. And the reason for this is um, the plane that we've created here is infinite in uh, both height and width, pretty much. It, it stretches all the way, even though the representation ends here. That means that you can use it like a cutting tool. So here's a problem we face. If I, so uh, we want to keep all these bodies, you know, I don't want to chop this off or forget that. But let's see what happens if we play around with the merge result. So if we leave merge result off, we get something like this, where it hasn't, well, it hasn't deleted the body, there it is, but it has separated it, and that'll become more apparent if I show my edges. So you can see it's completely separate. So that is not what we want. So you may be, may be thinking, let's, well, let's merge it together. Go back here, merge results. And here's the problem. The liquid got fused into the shot glass itself. So now I can't go into my mass properties and separate that liquid volume out. And that's why you need to go, when you do an operation like this, go to the intersect command and just specifically say, just find those internal regions, just leave those intersecting uh, regions alone, and that'll get you what you want. Create internal, merge result off, merge result off, hit OK, and yeah, well now we've got it again, but um, right now it just kind of looks like it's filled with mercury, so you know it's not a, a party until There we go, we got some whiskey in there. <laughs> Looks a little closer to gasoline, but at any rate, there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And by the way, I've seen the large influx of subscribers. I wanna thank each and every one of you for supporting me, even with my erratic upload schedule. But as you can see here, I have a brand new recording space. So I'm very excited to make very frequent use of that. Um, in any case, just keep sending me questions, keep sending me suggestions, just you know, keep active. And that's all from me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.